Hey brother! Ben, as you may or may not know, I am a big Apple user. I wrote my script here on this iPad, I'm on Team iPhone. I'll be editing this video later on Final Cut Pro on my iMac. So yeah, I'm always on the lookout for new Apple gear. Does anyone have the Apple Watch yet? Thoughts? And as you almost definitely know, I love Pixar movies and watch them very closely. So I was very excited when I noticed what could be the new iPhone in Inside Out. <laughs> Okay, quick history lesson. 1986, Steve Jobs, founder of Apple, is fired from Apple. So he takes his considerable resources and decides to fund a group from Lucasfilms, the ever creatively named group, the Graphics Group. Oh, I wonder what they do. Actually, to be a little bit more specific, the Graphics Group made up one third of Lucasfilm's entire computer division, and with the funding from Steve Jobs, that's $10 million, they were able to spin off and become their own company. They renamed themselves Pixar, and after a few ups and downs making commercials for different companies and trying to sell some hardware and software, they eventually make a deal with Disney to produce three films and release Toy Story in 1995 and basically become an overnight worldwide success. Pixar became so successful that in 2006, Disney outright bought the company for $7.4 billion with a B dollars. But before that happened, back in 1997, another company Steve Jobs founded, the NEXT Inc, or Next Inc, I'm not sure, was purchased by none other than Apple, and Steve Jobs resumed his role at the head of the company. That means, at least for a little while, Steve Jobs was the CEO of both Apple and Pixar at the same time. Pretty freaking cool. What that really means for us here at Super Carlin Brothers is that there's a whole new kind of Easter egg to be on the lookout for in Pixar movies, and that is Apple stuff. Yes, as a nod to one of their founding fathers, Steve Jobs, Pixar has been littering their films with Apple stuff for a while now. The question is, have you noticed? In Monsters Incorporated, Mike is reading a magazine with a computer ad on the back that says, Scare Different, a reference to the Apple slogan, think different. In The Incredibles, Mirage has an Apple key on her keyboard. This next one is a little subtle, so let me know if you don't see it, but in Cars, one of the race cars is sponsored by Apple, number 84. That number actually is a reference to 1984 when the first Macintosh home computer came out. Speaking of Macintosh, there is a Lord Macintosh in Brave, the father of one of the sons vying for Merida's heart. During the credits of Up, Carl and Russell appear to be using at least a Mac mouse. Even the golden boy, Andy Davis, has iTunes open on his laptop in Toy Story 3, and his little sister has an orange iPod Nano, and the toys are running OS X on Bonnie's iMac. And then there's the big one. Wally. Man, that movie just gets better and better. Wally watches Hello Dolly on an old iPod. The sound it makes when he's done charging is the same chime that sounds when a Mac computer is turned on. Otto, the crazy AI that's taking over the Axiom, is voiced by Macintosh Software, and Eve, freaking Eve, was designed by the same guy, Jonathan Ive, great name by the way, who designed the iPod. So, that brings us back to Inside Out, and if it revealed the latest iPhone. The phone in question is this one, the one Riley's dad is talking on. Notice the sleek modern design. I mean, it looks like an iPhone, except for one major problem. The camera is in the middle of the phone, and on regular iPhones it's up here in the corner. There's no current models of an iPhone that have a camera in the center. So, because of that, it might be easy to cast it aside as just not an iPhone. But, look at it again from this angle. When he's on the phone, you can see the interface. That interface, when you're on the phone with someone, is the same as in real life when you're on the phone with someone using an iPhone. I know that's a pretty tiny detail, but this one tiny detail combined with Pixar's long history of including Apple products in its films leads me to believe that this actually could be the next iPhone. Rather than referencing an existing product in the film, they're actually revealing to us the next one. Everyone's always speculating and guessing and looking at Apple to come up with the next greatest piece of technology that's just gonna wow us all. And we always have to wait and wait and wait to see it. But what if, in a grand twist, they've been showing it to us the whole time from the inside out? 
Then my question for you and everyone else is, do you think that could actually be the next iPhone? I mean, I guess we'll find out pretty soon. And I mean, even if it's not the next one, it could be like, it could be like two or three down the line. We'll just have to keep speculating about it probably until the end of time, unless it actually is the next one, in which case that will be awesome. Also, did I miss any Apple Easter eggs uh, in other Pixar movies? Let me know down in the towel section below. Ben, that's all I've got for you today, but I will see you in another life. These socks are amazing! So in case you're new to the channel and you're wondering why there's always a these socks are amazing thing at the end of the videos, it's really easy. We do this thing called Super Carlin Sock Club. Basically, how to play is on Tuesdays, or really any day of the week, just post a picture of whatever crazy socks you're wearing on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and use the hashtag Super Carlin Sock Club. Then, at the end of every week, I go through the past week and pick my favorite and feature it in the video. That's pretty much it. See ya.